Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Chloe Jovlin, and I'm all about helping you live a healthier, more balanced life, one small step at a time. So, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications because we've got new videos dropping every week. Today's topic is super important, and it's something that everyone can benefit from, how to create a balanced diet plan in seven simple but effective steps. Whether you're looking to improve your energy, lose weight, or just maintain a healthy lifestyle, this video will help you create a foundation for success. Ready? Let's jump right in. All right, so before we dive into meal plans and grocery lists, let's talk about you. Yeah, you. We're all different, right? Different ages, different bodies, different activity levels. And that means we all have different nutritional needs. It's like finding the right shoe size. You wouldn't wear a size too small or too big, would you? Same goes for your diet. The first step is figuring out what your body needs to thrive. A good place to start is by calculating your daily caloric intake. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. There are tons of online calculators and apps that can help you with this. Just plug in some basic info like your age, height, weight, and activity level, and boom, you'll get an estimate of how many calories you should be aiming for each day. These calculators can also break down your recommended intake of macronutrients, protein, carbohydrates, and fats. Remember, these are just estimates. If you have any specific health conditions or dietary restrictions, it's always a good idea to consult with a registered dietitian or nutritionist. They're the pros and can give you personalized advice based on your unique needs. But for most of us, these online tools are a great starting point. And hey, knowledge is power, right? Once you have a better understanding of your own nutritional needs, you can start making informed choices about the foods you eat. So go ahead and give it a try. Find a calculator you like, plug in your info, and let's move on to step number two. Now that you have a better understanding of your nutritional needs, let's talk about the types of food you should be filling your plate with. And the magic words here are whole foods. Think of whole foods as the superheroes of the food world. They're the ones that are as close to their natural state as possible, minimally processed, unrefined, and bursting with nutrients. We're talking about fresh fruits and vegetables in all their colorful glory. Lean proteins like chicken, turkey, fish, tofu, beans, and lentils. Don't forget about whole grains like quinoa, brown rice, oats, and whole wheat bread. And let's not forget about healthy fats, avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil. These whole food superstars are packed with vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants that your body needs to function at its best. They provide sustained energy, support healthy digestion, boost your immune system, and can even help reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Now here's a little grocery shopping hack for you. Stick to the perimeter of the store. That's usually where you'll find the fresh produce, lean proteins, and dairy products. The inner aisles are where the more processed and packaged foods tend to lurk. Another tip, read those labels. The fewer ingredients a food has, the better. If you can't pronounce it, your body probably doesn't know what to do with it either. So make whole foods your best friends. They're delicious, nutritious, and will make you feel amazing from the inside out. Okay, let's talk about meal planning. I know, I know, it might sound a little tedious, but trust me on this one, it's a total game changer. Think of it like this. Planning your meals is like having a roadmap for your nutrition. It keeps you on track, helps you make healthier choices, and saves you so much time and stress during the week. Imagine this. It's the end of a long day, you're tired, you're starving, and the last thing you want to do is figure out what to cook. But you know what? You already have a plan. You open your fridge, everything you need is prepped and ready to go, and bam, dinner is served without the usual frantic scramble. Meal planning also helps you resist those tempting takeout menus and unhealthy impulse buys at the grocery store. When you have a plan, you're less likely to reach for those sugary snacks or processed foods when hunger strikes. So how do you actually do it? It's easier than you think. Grab a notebook, use an app, or find a meal planning template online. Start by deciding what you want to eat for the week. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Then make a grocery list based on your meal plan. Pro tip, double your recipes and freeze the leftovers for a quick and easy meal later. Meal planning might seem like an extra step, but I promise you it's one of the best things you can do for your health and sanity. Give it a try and see the difference it makes. Chapter four, let's talk about variety. 
You know how the saying goes, variety is the spice of life. Well, it's also the key to a balanced and nutritious diet. Think of your plate like an artist's palette. The more colors you have, the more vibrant and interesting the artwork becomes. Each food group brings its own unique set of nutrients to the table. We've got our protein powerhouses, chicken, fish, beans, lentils, tofu. These guys help build and repair tissues, keep you feeling full and satisfied, and play a role in everything from your immune function to your metabolism. Then we have our complex carbohydrates, whole grains, fruits, vegetables. These are your body's primary source of energy. They provide fuel for your brain, muscles, and all those amazing things your body does. And let's not forget about healthy fats, avocados, nuts, seeds, olive oil. These are essential for hormone production, cell function, and they help your body absorb certain vitamins. When you eat a variety of foods from all the different food groups, you're ensuring that your body is getting the full spectrum of nutrients it needs to thrive. So next time you're planning your meals, challenge yourself to include a rainbow on your plate. All right, let's talk portion control. This is a big one. You could be eating all the right foods, but if you're eating way too much of them, it can still sabotage your healthy eating goals. Think of it like this. Portion sizes are like the volume knob on your diet. You want to find that sweet spot, not too loud, not too quiet, just the right amount to fuel your body without overdoing it. Now, portion control doesn't have to be complicated or involve weighing and measuring every single thing you eat. There are some simple tricks you can use to keep your portions in check. One of my favorites is using smaller plates and bowls. It's a bit of a mind game, but it totally works. When you use a smaller plate, your brain is tricked into thinking you're eating more than you actually are. Another trick is to use your hand as a guide. Your palm is a good measure for protein, your fist for veggies, and a cupped hand for carbs. This is a quick and easy way to eyeball your portions without having to pull out the measuring cups every time. And remember, it takes about 20 minutes for your brain to register that you're full. So eat slowly, savor each bite, and pay attention to your body's hunger and fullness cues. Now let's talk about the unsung hero of a healthy diet water. You guys, water is absolutely essential for a happy, healthy body. Think of it like this. Your body is like a plant and water is like sunshine. Without enough water, your body simply can't function at its best. Water plays a role in pretty much every single bodily process from digestion and absorption of nutrients to regulating body temperature, lubricating joints, and flushing out toxins. And here's a little secret. Water can actually help you manage your weight. Often when we think we're hungry, we're actually just thirsty. Drinking a glass of water before meals can help you feel fuller and prevent overeating. So, how much water should you be drinking? Aim for at least eight glasses a day. But if you're more active, live in a warmer climate, or are pregnant or breastfeeding, you'll need even more. Make it a habit to carry a reusable water bottle with you everywhere you go and sip on it throughout the day. If plain water gets a little boring, try adding some natural flavor with slices of lemon, cucumber, mint, or berries. All right, let's talk about something super important, flexibility. Listen, life is all about balance, right? And that includes finding a balance between healthy eating and enjoying those occasional indulgences. Here's the thing, deprivation backfires. When you restrict yourself too much, it can lead to cravings, and eventually, you might find yourself overindulging. So, instead of trying to be perfectly on track all the time, allow yourself some flexibility. It's okay to have that slice of pizza, that scoop of ice cream, or that piece of chocolate cake every now and then. The key is moderation. Enjoy your treats mindfully, savor every bite, and don't let it turn into an all-out binge. Remember, it's all about finding a sustainable way of eating that you can stick with long-term. And that means finding a balance between nourishing your body with healthy foods and allowing yourself to enjoy those occasional treats without guilt or shame. So give yourself permission to relax, enjoy life, and don't stress about being perfect. And that's it, folks. Those are the seven steps to creating a balanced diet plan that you can stick to. Remember, it's all about progress, not perfection. If you start making these small changes, you'll see big results over time. So, which step are you going to implement first? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Share it with your friends who are also on their health journey. And of course, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, so you never miss out on more tips and tricks for living a healthy, balanced life. 
stay healthy, stay happy, and I'll see you in the next one.